In this video, I'm going to discuss the top five cataract surgery lenses in 2024. Choosing the right lens for your cataract surgery is a once in a lifetime opportunity to correct your vision for good. Ideally, we want to get as close as possible to the vision of a healthy and young eyes. As a seasoned surgeon, I have extensive experience in implanting these lenses. I have helped thousands of patients regain their youthful vision. My advice is based not only in clinical studies, but also in practical hands-on experience with thousands of patients. Each lens has its unique set of pros and cons. These need to be tailored to meet your specific needs. Knowing about the available lens options will empower you to make an informed decision that is best for you. I won't be discussing here the traditional monofocal lenses. Most have been around for more than 30 years now, and they all do more or less the same thing. The five lenses I'll talk about are the most advanced available today, and each has some unique sets of features to consider. These five lenses are Panoptics, Symphony, Vivity, Synergy, and the Light Adjustable Lens. First on our list is the Panoptics lens. This lens is the most popular multifocal in the world today and has the longest track record. It is also the only trifocal lens approved in the US. Trifocal simply means that it is in focus for both distance, intermediate, and near. Because of that, perhaps it offers the largest level of freedom from glasses. It also has the least amount of glare and halos compared with other multifocal lenses. All that being said, I wouldn't use this lens on anyone who has significant macular degeneration, advanced diabetic retinopathy, and some other diseases of the eyes. The next lens I want to talk about is Synergy. Synergy is another multifocal lens. However, unlike Panoptics, it has only two focal points for near and distance. This shortcoming is somewhat upset by the fact that the near range is somewhat extended to include some intermediate as well, but it's not the same as a trifocal. The incidence of glare and halos in this lens is significantly greater compared with the panoptics. One of the best ways to judge these lenses is to look at patients who had a different lens in each eye. Patients that had panoptics in one eye and synergy in the other say that the distance vision is slightly better with the synergy eye, but the nighttime vision is better with panoptics with less halos and glare. And so is the near vision. Next, we have the new second generation symphony lens. This lens is what we call an extended depth of focus lens. So it provides a wider range of focus rather than two distinct focal points. It's not the best lens for prolonged reading or for small print, but it's very good for distance and intermediate vision. It might have some slightly better contrast than traditional multifocal lenses and perhaps a lower incidence of glare and halos, but it doesn't provide the same level of near vision. With regards to these first three lenses I just mentioned, in general, if there are any eye diseases other than cataracts that are responsible for the blurry vision, these lenses are probably not the best choice for you. Patients with such conditions may be better served with one of the following two lenses I'm about to mention, or an old-fashioned monofocal lens could also work for them. Next, we turn to the VVT lens. This lens uses a completely different optical technology called X-Wave. This lens has an extended depth of focus. It provides excellent distance and intermediate vision with almost no incident of glare or halos. But for prolonged reading and small print, you may need reading glasses. I use VVT in pilots, tennis and golf players, truck drivers, and anyone for whom the best distance vision is very important. One question I get asked a lot is if these lenses can correct astigmatism, and the answer is that yes, they all do come with toric versions that can correct astigmatism as well. Last but not least, we have the light adjustable lens. This is a type of lens that enables the surgeon to adjust its power after the surgery. 
So minor inaccuracy in the lens power calculations could be adjusted to bring the vision into sharper focus. About one to three weeks after both eyes are done, the patient goes back to see the doctor for up to three to five more visits. The surgeon then uses an office ultraviolet light treatment to adjust the power of the lens to tune the vision. The main point of this lens is that if the calculations for the power of the lens are inaccurate, we can change them after the surgery. That might be the case, but modern instruments for the calculation of the lens these days are pretty accurate. Also, there are steps that you can take to increase the accuracy. For example, rather than relying on one measurement, I measure the eyes using three separate technologies. I use two distinct laser-based devices and one ultrasound-based device for the lens measurements. This reduces the chance of error based on one specific device and significantly increases the measurement accuracy. Considering the amount of time that is required post-operatively for the patient and the number of visits needed to fine-tune the results, the effort seems to be overwhelming. Also, you need to wear dark glasses to avoid ambient UV light to change the lens for four to six weeks after the surgery. Now consider that this lens is just a monofocal lens and cannot offer the benefits that are available with more advanced multifocal lenses. So there seems to be a lot of effort for a small amount of benefit. So which one of these lenses is best for you? I will tell you very shortly which two are my favorites. But it is important to realize that the ideal lens for you can only be determined after a comprehensive discussion with a surgeon that has extensive experience with these lenses. The surgeon has to align your unique needs and the condition of your eyes with the most suitable lens. The surgeon's techniques, experience, and skill can have a great impact on the outcome of the surgery. This being said, which ones do I find to be the best lenses? Out of thousands of lens implants I perform each year, the two lenses that my patients like the most are the Panoptix and the Vivity lens. Of course, as I said before, all of these lenses have their specific use cases, but I just find myself using the Panoptix and the Vivity lenses most often with extremely happy patients. And by the way, I have no financial interest in any of these companies producing these lenses. I hope this video has provided you with some valuable insight and will assist you in making an informed decision. Now I have a question for you. Are you looking to have cataract surgery? And if so, which lens do you think about using? Please feel free to put your comments or questions in the section below. Thank you.